So let's continue with uh, the other initiatives NPTEL has uh, surrounding the NPTEL certification courses. So we have not stopped with just offering courses, but we do uh, smaller initiatives around it, which we feel which actually benefit the learners uh, with respect to, you know, their progress in either career or higher education uh, in terms of like you can see what all initiatives we have here. So we uh, do, we have some internship opportunities, we do soft skill training for learners who don't have that experience from say their own college. We partner with companies to uh, provide more facilities for our learners and for companies to also learn and partner with us in various ways. There is a translation effort that's going on like I had mentioned previously too and so on. So we'll describe some of these a bit more in detail. So that you get an idea and you can see how you can utilize any of these whichever is relevant to you. So the first point is uh, credit transfer. We talked about it when we were discussing on why learners are choosing and uh, adopting NPTEL certification courses. So UGC and AICT had actually approved up to 40% credit transfer from Swayam courses into the transcript of the students. So this is across say the art science universities, the uh, engineering universities and other kind of uh, whatever institutions might be there. This is a possibility that has been enabled by UGC and AICT. So the academic councils of the respective universities of course have to approve saying how many credits they will permit to be transferred, what is the modality of transferring the credits, whether learners just enroll to NPTEL courses or SWIM courses and do assignments or do they also have to do the exams and bring back certificates. All these will be defined by the academic councils of the respective universities, autonomous colleges, whoever is defining the policies. But broadly, up to 40% has been enabled. So it's a good idea to do at least two or three courses from uh, say platforms like Swayam whereby you can learn something which is different and maybe something that is not offered by your own college or your own institute. Uh, we also have some recommendations for people who are evolving these policies based on our experience in the last couple of years. So one of the things we say is uh, do not make uh, NPTEL or SWIM courses mandatory in the last semester of the degree program because many times for whatever reasons there might be a delay in the conduct of the exam or if the student is unable to pass the exam then it becomes a showstopper for getting the degree and graduating. So typically in the final year of the uh, degree program of the student it is better not to make it mandatory. If the student is, you know, good enough and can cope up, it is up to them. If it is an option that is available to them, it is much better. But making a credit transfer mandatory in the last year, I think, uh, I mean, we all at NPTEL think may not be a good idea. Secondly, when you induct students to start with NPTEL courses, it is better to avoid the first semester as they come into college because the transition from school to college itself is a big change for students. So it's good if we let them settle in maybe for a semester and from second semester they can start with NPTEL courses and the courses to start off with also might be something like soft skills or uh, training in English or maybe learning a language or some such because the idea of an online course, what components it has, what they have to do every week as part of the course may not be very clear to students. So these kind of courses which are a little easier than the core technical courses might be a good idea to start the learners off on taking for credit transfer. And then uh, when the uh, bucket of courses is defined for credit transfer, it is better to keep it as large as possible and as open as possible because one of the ideas of, you know, allowing credit transfer is for students to be able to explore other areas of interest to see whether they would like to learn and maybe, you know, pursue some other line of interest through these MOOCs. So they are already doing some set of courses in their regular program. So these MOOCs should allow them to also explore what they cannot study as part of their regular program. So keeping the bucket of courses much larger and open for the student to select in credit might be a good idea. And also allow the students to do the course first and then exercise a choice on whether they want to credit it because if they have not done well or maybe their marks have not come uh, well then it's better maybe they don't want to credit it and they want to do the university course itself. So uh, students can first do the NPTEL course, they can see the kind of marks and grades they've gotten. If they are happy with it, they choose to do the credit transfer otherwise they opt for some other course that is uh, possible. 
and uh, like i said it is good idea to allow the students to do courses which are job oriented which cut across disciplines like say data science courses programming courses uh, english training courses soft skill courses communication courses and so on apart from of course the core and other elective courses which are a part of the program itself